السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان دس ویڈیو آئی موڈیفائڈ دس ٹرانسفارمر دس ٹرانسفارمر سکس پلس سکس وولٹ فار یو پی ایس آئی موڈیفائڈ اٹ ٹو ٹیک ون ہنڈریڈ ٹوینٹی تھری وولٹ ون ہنڈریڈ ففٹین ون ہنڈریڈ ٹوینٹی وولٹ آئی ریموو اٹس اوریجنل ٹرنس دا اوریجنل وائر واز فار ہائی کرنٹ سو آئی موڈیفائڈ اینڈ آئی کیلکولیٹڈ دا وولٹ turn per volt method and now without load I am taking 123 volt and now I am turning on oscilloscope so it is isolation transformer its basic function to isolate the input voltage the primary side from the secondary so the secondary equipment must be isolated our test equipment must be isolated i am taking 121 volt with load and when i turn off this oscilloscope because i wind it for use with oscilloscope to take isolation now it drop just only 2 volt and it is perfect now let's start it if you have not subscribe my channel subscribe it let's start In this video we will see how we can modify this transformer. Basically this transformer is for UPS which is normally used with PCs. These two pins are used to produce 16 volt AC. Here I apply 224 volt and this is output section. From common to one side we are taking 7.6 volt. 7.6 volt 7.6 volt 7 and 7 from here to here 7 7 and here we can take from the both ends we can find 15 volt so we will increase this voltage or we will set an other winding to take 110 volt let's start we will remove this mounting just only we have to remove one plate and then it is very easy it will not become loose due to varnish it is slightly stuck But now it will more easy to remove it now we removed all the core all the core parts are e and i shaped like this now we have to remove this winding and we have to count that number of turns it was giving Seven point five, seven point five. Common or standard tape. We have to count the number of turns here.
here are primary winding we will not touch the primary we have just to work with secondary so we have this winding here this is center tape center tape winding have two wires it is by riffler winding it is using two wires in parallel so here we have two wires and here we have two wires that means this is one winding and this is the center tape so we will start from here one two six seven eight fourteen fifteen sixteen One, two, three, four, twenty-four, twenty-five. So twenty-five for one section, and it was sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26, 26 turns and 26 turns. It was 7.5 volts and 26 turns. Number of turns, 26 turns. Volts, 7.5. We can calculate it. The result will how many turns we need for 1 volt. For more surety, this is our 16 volt winding. It is also secondary winding which we tested. It is separate winding. We can count its turn as well. From this point, one, six, seven, eight, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-four turns. Fifty-four divided by sixteen volts. It is 3.375, 3.375 turns per volt, 26 divided by 7.5, it is 3.4 turns. So the best fit, 3.4 turns per volt, that's good, 3.45 this 3.445 turns for 1 volt and if I want 115 I need 396 turns to set in the secondary to take 115 volts so I will not use this thick wire gauge I will use same which is used for 16 volt because it is enough We will use 3.45 multiplied by 115, so 396 turns. One. Two. 
we completed 200 turns now we can use varnish but uh, for insulation I am using foam spray adhesive so that This time I'm not uh, using the varnish because I don't have varnish. So I'm using for insulation. We will let it dry. If we will dip in the varnish, that is more useful. And now I will continue to wind. We completed 250 turns. Now I am preparing my tea. So let's continue from 251 plus 50. We completed one, two, three hundred turns. We have completed. Now we have to complete more hundred turns, or we can set 96 turns. And this is. 395 turns we completed 395 turns I will stop it here now we can apply varnish on the winding or I will use the spray All the wires will bind to each other, will collapse to each other, so the winding will not have vibration and it will not make a hum sound. We will let it dry and then we will continue. Now it is near to dry. Add tape because here we have connections. We will make an other layer here because here we have primary connections. So in isolation transformer. The primary must be insulated from the secondary. There should no connection between primary and secondary. This is our first connection. Because at each hundred steps I take out Now we are going to insert this EI course. We have to put one E from one side and the second E from the second side. Try to insert one by one. Between each two E cores, insert one I.
we have just one e and i remaining so we will leave it because it's too hard to enter more cores manually we will tighten it so that the core will make will not make noise Now we will check continuity. In the first section it is 3 ohms, 7 ohms, 8.35 ohms. Now we have to check this winding with the primary sets. Primary, it's okay. No continuity. No continuity. There should no continuity between primary and secondary. This is neutral. For safety purpose, I will connect between line and 245. The last pin. The multimeter is reading 108 volt. So now I will connect between the 220 line. Wonderful. We have 123 volt. That's good. That's nice. Our calculation was 115 and I will turn on my oscilloscope on this supply now. Anytime we need voltage from these sets we can use them. Otherwise I will make insulation. We will use just only the first and the last output. Always make proper insulation. I am just uh, making for demonstration. I modified this transformer just for powering up my oscilloscope. Now we are taking 123 volt and now I am going to turn on the oscilloscope. Excellent. The voltage dropped 2 volt. That's nice. As I will turn off the oscilloscope, the voltage returned back to 123. It is not a big drop. One hundred twenty-one volt with load. with the load it's nice now we have this isolation transformer we can test now any signal and you can modify the transformer very easily